In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the touch with the Final Cut Pro. With a trackpad or a magic trackpad, you activate the touch by holding down Ctrl and Command. As long as you're holding down these keys, the touch will recognize your gestures. There are also some options in the control panel that allow you to activate the touch differently, and even to have it activated automatically whenever you're using a supported application. With an iPad, equipped with our free companion application, the touchpad, there's no need to hold down Control and Command. The touch is always ready. Here we are then in Final Cut Pro. By default, the touch displays a reminder of the gestures available, although this display can be turned off if you prefer. Here, since we're not using the color board, we can see a reminder of the gestures that are available at all times. Many functions are assigned to simple swipes. Here's one for playing your film at different speeds. We can also do a tap tap hold to access the touch's interactive functions, such as the image scrub, editing functions, or the choice of video scopes. All of these gestures have been chosen and implemented with great care to ensure that they quickly become very intuitive, are always available and don't require any configuration. But the magic really starts when you need to color grade your film. Double tap with one finger and the color board will open automatically. Now, with one finger, you can correct the shadows. With the two fingers, the midtones. With three fingers, the highlights. And with four fingers, the globals. Double tap with two fingers and you can adjust the saturation in the same way. Double tap with three fingers and you can adjust the exposure. All the time you can keep your eyes on your image. To go to the next edit, just swipe right with two fingers. As you get used to the touch, you'll probably want to go further still. Let's have a look at the editing functions. A two finger swipe upwards takes us to the events organizer. Here we may choose an event, move to the next marker, play, Choose the endpoint, scrub through the frames, and the out point. A two finger swipe downwards, and we go back to the timeline. We can choose an insertion point and insert. You can find all these functions and many others, all described with the help of a mini video in the touches control panel. All that's left now is for you to give it a try, learn it at your own speed, and use the functions that are most suited to your workflow. Do you have the touch?